So I washed my hair and I let it air dry and this is how it looks. It's a mess, but don't mind my hair. We are here today, finally, finally, to review the Beauty Blender Bounce uh, Foundation. I uh, really, really wanted to try this since it launched, but it was um, not available here in Sweden and they the kick start selling it and of course I didn't know what shade I should choose and I couldn't go to the store to swatch it so I looked on the internet and a website for swatches and I'm neutral with neutral undertones so I chose this blend 2.50 because it's kind of medium natural and I think that will suit me, especially during the summer if it's a little bit darker. I do prefer my foundations be a little bit darker than my skin tone. I always said, say that in every video. Sometimes you guys comment and say your foundation is too dark. I know. I like it that way. I say also if it's too dark, then I'll blend it with a lighter uh, foundation or um, uh, with something to kind of light it up a little bit. But I do prefer my foundations to be two or one to two shades darker than my skin tone. Um, yeah, I hope this is not too bright or too dark. I don't think so. It looks like a nice shade. I didn't swatch it, but I did open the packaging. And I did watch a couple of reviews of this uh, foundation. I won't talk too much about the packaging because you've probably heard so much about it, about it. Some people love it, some people hate it. I think it's cute, I think it's different. I know it's going to gather a little bit here, but I mean, really, I, I don't mind. I really don't think it's a bad packaging, but I think the shade will suit me. Um, we would, I think the shade will be perfect for me, but we'll see, maybe just me. I also bought Beauty Blender, new Beauty Blender, and these two smaller Beauty Blenders to, uh, for the first time, actually, to use for my concealer and I did buy real beauty blender because I wanted to try it with foundation and I'm going to of course use the Jeffree Star concealer and powder to set my face um, I need to say something I think this video is going to be up before that video I tried uh, Nikki Joy's powder and I realized when I put that video together that my under eyes and I did say that in my video my under eyes under eyes looked so dry and it really didn't look good and I told you guys that for a couple of days that my or weeks my um, under eyes were very uh, the fine lines over there were very exaggerated and it looked very dry that didn't matter what foundation didn't matter, matter what powder didn't matter what um, concealer I used it looked very very dry and my fine lines were very exaggerated um, but I actually found out what the problem was couple of things. I did use makeup a couple of days, especially when I filmed, but when I tried to wash my face or wash the makeup off, I used the I used a gel cleanser or cream cleanser under my eyes and it says in the description to not use it around the eyes and I did that. I know, I'm bad. I did I didn't do good. And also I used the uh, toner. It said don't use it under eyes. I used it. So I think that was also something that made my under eyes look very dry and very wrinkly. But I also didn't moisturize on my eyes. I didn't use eye cream. So I started using that and it looks much, much better. And I um, need to think about what I'm doing. Really, really. I know I sometimes I'm very lazy, but that lazy, I can't be that lazy. So uh, I know you go, when you watch that video, you're going to see me talk about the powder, how much I love it, but my under eyes are going to look like a disaster. And I didn't want to throw away, away that video because I wanted to show you the real thing. I know some YouTubers uh, film their videos a couple of times when it looks like a disaster, and I didn't want to do that because I want to be as honest as possible on my channel. I deal with, deal with some skin problems, and I want to be open with that. But I won't chat, won't chat anymore, so if you're interested to see how this is going to work on my combo skin and uh, what I think about it, then please keep on watching. I really don't know what to do with my hair because it looks like a disaster. Okay, let's open this and squeeze out some product. Come on, there you go, two pumps, 
maybe three three pumps we'll see if that's enough let me i'm going to use this palette as my mirror because it has a nice mirror in here let's see not a bad shade and try to use this beauty blender practical I like this I already primed my skin. I mean, I think this shade is okay. I think it looks really good. I didn't want to be, I don't like it to be lighter than this, so. And this feels very, doesn't feel like I'm applying any foundation on at all. So this is three pumps. And I don't have any foundation on uh, the packaging. It has a nice medium coverage. It feels like, it looks like I don't have foundation on, really. It really looks like my, I have a moisturizer on. I kind of like it. I would prefer if it had more coverage, but I will try to build it up. But this is how it looks with one layer or three pumps on my skin. So I'm going to use more and uh, try to build up two pumps on the same side. I need to compare this to my favorite foundation ever, Estee Lauder Double Wear. I have that in Fresco, but it's too light for me right now. So that is why I don't use the, that foundation. But that, this texture kind of reminds me of that. It feels the same way. Uh, it feels very light, it feels um, very thin, but also gives me a lot of coverage. So right now I'm very happy with the coverage, with the second layer. And uh, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't look heavy. I really like it. And you know what? Not, nothing can take Beauty Blender's place. So I put two layers on and the only thing right now I feel like I have to say about the foundation it's it's a very lightweight it does look like I maybe have some thin layer of foundation on my skin but it looks very very nice I don't know if you can see but it looks very very nice and I really like how it sits on my skin and this is the perfect shade for me this is the perfect shade I'm very very happy because it's not cheap and I'm going to <laughs> this one is so cute going to use concealer and see how the concealer is blending on top of the foundation. This is Jeffree Star's concealer. I'm going to use this small beauty blender. I mean, I can see, but the concealer is blending very, very nice on top of the foundation. They really work together beautifully. Now, I don't know if you can see, but my under eyes look much better right now when I'm really not, when I'm using right products for <laughs> under our area. I do still have fine lines and wrinkles, of course. It's going on perfect, and I really love how this foundation is looking on my skin. It's synced into my skin. It doesn't look dry, it doesn't look um, very oily or very glowy. This foundation has that nice satin finish and I really like it. Breathe you in like oxygen Oh, in an otherwise suffocating world I'm reaching out for arms, I'm drowning in in the open-ended love we're making, girl. So guys, this is the final look. I applied all of my makeup and this is how my face looks. I think it looks pretty, pretty good. Uh, everything went on beautifully on top of uh, the foundation. And the powder right now looks 
much better than it did in the video where I reviewed it. And you're going to see the other powder also. It's beautiful. Just my under eyes look like disaster. But I'm taking care of it right now. It looks much better. So I'm not lying in that video. Don't ever think that. Uh, but okay. I, on my eyes, I do have uh, this um, palette. And I'm going to use that mirror right now. So. The foundation. What do I think about it? Uh, it looks very nice, it looks very smooth, and I really, really like how it sits, but how it sinks into my skin. Of course, it looks like I have a fun makeup on, but it's not matte, it's that nice, nice satin finish, even if I powder it a lot. It looks very, very nice and very soft and beautiful, so I really, really like it. I'm going to wear this foundation the whole day. Right now, it's 12.43, almost 1 o'clock. And I'm going to wear it a couple of hours and I'll, of course I'll do a check-in to tell you what I think about it. But so far I really um, I really like this, um, this foundation. Uh, I like the packaging, I cleaned everything, maybe a little bit of the foundation stuck here, it's going to be more when I continue using it. But I love the pack, I like the packaging. Uh, I did use, had to use six pumps to get this coverage that I want. Of course, I could use less if I needed that medium coverage, but I wanted most. Of course, I used six pumps. That's a lot of foundation, so it will definitely go through it maybe faster. But I don't mind because I have so many foundations and I don't want, want my foundations to be laying down in the drawer and get, go bad. So, But if you don't have uh, many foundations or you maybe use just this, I understand why it can be... A little bit too expensive or maybe waste <laughs> uh, to use a lot, but I like it and I don't I feel like I don't have any makeup on it feels very light it feels uh, it was a little, not sticky but it was a little bit tacky and the, the rest of the makeup went on beautifully on top I really really like it like you see I'm very happy with the results uh, I like the packaging maybe it's not the best uh, to travel with because this is glass but I do like the packaging and I feel like this is a very good uh, shade match to my skin tone. I really like that too. So I'm very happy that I didn't mess it up and order too light or too dark. Uh, too, too dark, of course. And I like it. We'll see. It's, like I said, 12.46. I'll, do I'll do a check-in in a couple of hours just to let you know how it looks. I really like how it looks. It looks like satin finish. It's not oily. It's not matte. I kind of really like how it looks. It looks like natural glow is coming through. And uh, lately I've been preferring that. I know in other of my foundation routines I really like the matte finish. But because my uh, T-zone, my face gets very oily during the day. But right now I do like it, how it looks. I hope hope it won't look worse in a couple of hours. I feel like I wouldn't like it to look very oily in end of the day but right now uh, it's almost one o'clock and i'll film more of the videos i have some unboxing to do but right now i do like this foundation and i'll see you in a couple of hours so hi my happy family hi everyone i'm back it's 8 30 and i'll be having this foundation on for around eight hours and uh, this is how it looks take this off it's wearing off here but I don't look shiny I don't oh, not sh too shiny I don't look greasy I don't look dry I don't look cakey I think this foundation is very very nice I really really like it I really am happy how it turned out and I understand why people love it and now I think it's my new favorite foundation I really really think so it looks pretty, pretty good. The rest of my uh, makeup is still there. It's been wearing off a little bit because I've been eating a lot, eating a lot and sleeping, <laughs> taking a nap. So it's wearing off a little bit on my chin because I ate it a couple of times. And uh, But otherwise, I think it looks good. I'm very, very happy. And I'm glad I can have it myself. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. But thank you for watching and I love you all. See you in my next video. Bye!